Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 261. That is explain software release life cycle. That is SRLC. Let me answer. So SRLC is software release life cycle. How the software will be released into the market. So to understand that, you need to understand the different phases of the software. Software goes through several phases while getting developed, while getting tested, while getting uh, released into the market for different purposes. Software goes through several purposes. Okay, in which phases of the software, the software will be released into the market is nothing but SRLC. Let me explain that phase by phase wise. So here we have five different phases in the software. That is pre-alpha phase, which is the first phase of the software. Then we have the alpha phase, second phase, beta phase, which is the third phase, release candidate phase, RC phase, which is the fourth phase. And finally, we have the stable phase, okay, which is the final phase, okay? So pre-alpha phase is the first phase of the software. Here, development just starts. And coming to the release, and coming to the release, here no release will happen, okay? No software will be released in the pre-alpha phase, okay? Here, only development will start, even testing will not start, okay? Coming to the next phase of the software, that is alpha phase. After pre-alpha phase is completed, we move to the alpha phase of the software, okay? Which is the second phase of the software. Here, formal testing will start. And here also, the software won't be released, okay? The software won't be released into the market, okay? There is no release in this pre-alpha phase and alpha phase. Here, formal testing will be started, guys. That is, uh, the developers uh, will be performing unit testing, integration testing, till now, in pre-alpha phase, only development has started using the requirements or client-provided documents, but no testing was started. In alpha phase of the software, the testing started. Even the developers have started the unit testing, integration testing. After the testers will perform system testing, then user acceptance testing will be performed by the client-side business people who has the uh, end-user knowledge, uh, who has the knowledge on the end-user needs and expectations. Here, only one part of the user acceptance testing, that is alpha testing, will be performed at this level, okay, in the alpha phase, okay? So here, here also the software won't be released, guys, okay? In pre-alpha phase, software won't be released. In alpha phase also, software won't be released, okay? Once the client-specified requirements are incorporated into the software by the developers and tested by the testers, and also the client-side business people uh, shared uh, checklist of uh, user needs and expectations are incorporated into software, then only the alpha phase will be complete, okay? Fine, so after alpha phase, then beta phase will start, which is the third phase of the software. Here, the software will be released, okay? In pre-alpha phase, software is not released. In alpha phase, the software is not released. But in beta phase, the software will be released, which is the third phase of the software. Software will be released into the market to the end users and end customers, but with a different purpose, okay? Not for usage purpose, for testing purpose, guys, okay? The company behind the software want the customers to uh, start using the software okay and uh, collect the feedback from them okay with an intention of collecting the feedback this is not the final release of the software guys okay here the intention of releasing the software into the market is for beta testing purpose who will be performing beta testing the end users and customers uh, who belong to different locations different regions different uh, uh, you know right uh, different things different categories different environments different configurations all different circumstances they will be using the software and and if the software is not working properly for any of the people, they will provide the feedback back to the company, okay? For that purpose only, the software is released, okay? And here, this testing is called as beta testing, which is not done in the alpha phase, okay? Alpha, in alpha phase, up to alpha phase of user acceptance testing is done. Again, the second phase, uh, second level of the user acceptance testing, after alpha testing in user acceptance testing, we generally perform beta testing. That is general, that will happen in the beta phase of the software. Here, the software will be released into the market as open beta release. Company may decide to release a, uh, release the software for beta testing as open beta release, or the company may decide to release the software into the market as a closed beta release, okay? Any of the type. Open beta release means the software will be released to the complete public, complete public around the globe. Whereas closed beta means only to the limited group of or closed group of uh, end users or end customers, it will be released, guys, okay? That is beta, fine. Then finally, we have the, so once beta phase is completed, once the uh, feedback is collected, then uh, we'll go to the RC phase, whatever the feedback that is collected in the beta phase will be incorporated in the software. 
and again the software will be made ready for releasing into the market with the same purpose okay whatever the purpose the software got released into the market in the beta phase with the same purpose again in rc phase for the second time software will be released into the market to the end users and customers for testing purpose only that is for beta testing purpose only uh, to collect the second level of feedback uh, regarding the end users needs and expectations here also open beta release may happen or closed beta release may happen deciding on, uh, based on the company's decision okay so open beta means complete public it will be released closed beta means only for the limited group of end users and customers it will be released okay so there are different names for the release candidate guys okay so this release has different names okay whatever the release that is happening in the rc phase has different names okay the company may uh, name this release as rc release okay while releasing the software in the rc phase the company may call it as rc release depending on the company company may call it as silver release company may call it as gamma release company may call it as delta release any of the names with any of this names the release will happen in the rc phase with an intention of collecting the feedback uh, from the end users and end customers uh, where uh, the end users while using the software will indirectly perform the beta testing okay once the rc phase is completed lot of feedback will be collected that feedback will be incorporated into the software okay uh, in the last phase of the software that is stable phase uh, where the main intention is to make the software stable okay and to uh, prepare a finalized version of the software okay the final phase of the software guys a finalized version of the software need to be prepared and has to be released finally into the market for real purpose the end users and customers have to purchase the software and use it for their real real needs okay this is a finalized version of the software uh, which has all the client specified requirements satisfied and also and also the uh, end user needs and expectations uh, which are collected from the beta phase and rc phase are met that kind of finalized version of the software which looks more stable and more realistic or more user user based on uh, created based on user needs and expectations right that finalized version of the software will be released into the market to the end users and customers for real use for their real purpose use or okay real usage purpose that is a stable release and this release is actually called as general availability release okay so this is what is SR, srlc guys okay software has different phases in different phases in some phases software will not be released in some uh, in some phases software will be released but in beta and really uh, release candidate phase it will be released with an intention of beta testing purpose whereas in the stable uh, stable phase of the software uh the actual release will happen uh for the end user usage okay so where end users will purchase and general availability release will happen okay this is what is srlc that is software release life cycle so hope guys you understood what is software release life cycle in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye